hello guys and then welcome to another video okay so in this video we'll be talking about delta star transformations okay so we are trying to calculate resistors which are either in which are not either in series or parallel arrangements okay that's where we employ the delta star analysis okay so whenever you come across any resistors basically three resistors and then they cannot be identified as either series arrangement or parallel arrangement that's where we employ delta star transformation analysis okay so these um, resistors okay in circuits where there are no series okay there are no series and then parallel arrangements okay no series or parallel arrangement okay and then whenever you come across any arrangement of three resistors where the resistors are connected to each other like this okay like these formats the resistors are connected to each other okay we have one node here another node and then the other node over here okay so we have one node another node the other node and then the other node whenever you come across th these three resistors or three resistors and they are connected to each other like this format it means that they are what delta arrangement and then whenever you come across any three resistors where they all have the three resistors all have a common point okay like this okay and like that we refer these as what star arrangements okay so now since we already know how to identify delta and then star arrangements i hope by now you are okay okay so now let's see how we can convert one to each to, to the other okay so whenever you come across delta arrangements you can convert the delta arrangements into what a star arrangement okay and whenever you come across a star arrangement you can convert the star arrangement okay into delta arrangement okay so let's see how you can convert star to delta so first let's see how you can convert delta to star so this a combination of a delta and what a star is a delta okay from this arrangement okay so you can identify that this is our delta okay then r1 uppercase r1 uppercase r2 uppercase r3 are delta and then look and then r lowercase a r lowercase b and then r lowercase c our our what star arrangement okay so now let's see how we can convert delta okay converting delta to star right convert delta to star okay so now this is the formula you need to know okay so we have re okay re this re right so whenever you see this kind of arrangement and then you draw okay so whenever you come across any arrangement and then it's in this format okay like this okay like that okay and maybe like this you tend to draw um your um delta um you know representation something like that okay like this something like this right okay that's when you come across a star arrangement you tend to convert the star arrangement into delta you draw your delta um, arrangement just around it and then whenever you come across a delta arrangement and you want to convert it towards star so whenever you come across a delta something like this okay something like this okay something like this and then you want to convert that towards star okay so all you have to do is just draw your star arrangement within it okay yes like that okay so now let's see how we can convert what uh delta to star and then star to delta okay so let's start from converting delta to star okay Whenever you come across anything of this sort, okay, something like this, okay, and then you want to convert the delta arrangement into star, 
this is what you use okay so let's say you are converting this delta arrangement okay delta arrangement r1 okay trying to convert a certain delta arrangement r1 or a certain delta arrangement r2 or a certain delta arrangement r3 okay into star arrangement this is all you need to know okay now let's say this is what we have okay we are converting the delta to star so we have what let's take the ones opposite to r8 okay all right so we have what r2 okay r2 multiply by what r3 okay then you divide that by what the total okay r1 r2 and r3 so we have r1 plus r2 okay and then plus r3 okay yes that's how you convert delta to star okay so now let's look at rp okay rp okay so these are rp okay so for the same we use the same principle you use the ones which are exactly opposite to the rp okay that's r2 and then r1 okay so we have what r1 okay multiply by r2 and then you divide by the total sum of r1 r2 and r3 okay we have r1 okay plus r2 and then what r3 okay and then the same applies to rc okay we are still converting what delta to star so for rc this rc so we use the one which are what right opposite them okay opposite the rc so we have what r what r1 okay and we have what r3 okay right and then divided by what the total sum okay we have r1 plus r2 plus what r3 okay now so now let's see how you can convert what star to delta okay so that's the other way around okay so we are converting what star okay star towards delta okay star to delta right so now you want to convert star to delta so this is what we will do we are converting the ones in the middle okay so our lower case a our lower case b our lower case c into r1 r2 and then what r3 so this is how we do that so for r1 okay for r1 for r1 okay we have what the same principle so rp and what rc okay so those are close to the r1 okay so rb rc okay rb right plus rc okay rc okay and then you add that to the same thing okay that's rb and then you multiply that okay you have rb rc right divided by what the one adjacent to the r1 okay that's what r the same principle applies to what r2 okay so let's see we have r2 so we have what r a and r b which is directly opposite to it so we have what r a plus r b okay and then you add that to their their what product we have r a multiply by what r b divided by what r c yes you are right r c and then the same thing applies to what r3 okay so we have what r3 we have r a and r c directly opposite to it so we have what r a plus r c okay r c and then what plus what the product at, the product of what r a r c okay divided by what rb yes you are right okay rb now there is one thing you need to know okay whenever you come across 
you need delta and star arrangement okay either delta or star arrangement and then all the values are the same okay for example whenever you come across whenever you come across um, a delta arrangement or a star arrangement and then the values are the same so let's say you come across a star arrangement okay something like this okay and then something like this and then you have what 2 ohm okay over here 2 ohm over here and then you have 2 ohm over here note that once you want to convert this star into delta all you have to do is just multiply what 3 by what the star value okay the star the resistor um, the resistor which is represented by the star arrangement okay that's what i mean whenever you come across a star arrangement and all the resistors within the star arrangement are the same just multiply 3 by one of the resistors and that will be that will be equivalent to the what delta um, resistor okay so this is what i mean so we have this star arrangement and then all the resistors are what 2 ohm 2 ohm and then 2 ohm it means that the star the delta delta will be equal to what three times what two okay this will give us what six ohms okay so delta um will be equal to three times the two ohm okay the same applies to the star so whenever you come to you come across any resistor and then it's in the delta arrangement and all the resistors in the delta arrangement are the same and then you want to convert the delta arrangement into star arrangement you use the same principle okay so we have what delta okay is equal to what three times the resistor which is in what star okay so what you have to do is what have star is equal to what the exact delta resistor which is in the ohms divided by what three okay so when you do that this arrangement will now be transformed into so this star right and then you've converted that into what delta so you just represent this by this this okay that's okay now so this will what six ohms six ohms and then what six ohms okay so this is how you convert um star arrangement which has the same resistor values okay into delta so using this formula you could notice that in case we were given the delta arrangement and then all the resistors in the delta arrangement were 6 ohm 6 ohm and 6 ohms and then we want to convert the delta arrangement into star you just have to divide the 6 ohm by what 3 okay so this we want to convert delta into star so it is what the delta resistor which is 6 ohm okay divided by what 3 and then it will give us what 2 ohms and then that's what that's what we have over here okay 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm right so after no noticing this we can just you know take um a first example and then try to you know arrive at a simplified Alright, so whenever you come across any example like this, okay, as the one um, in this format, okay, first you will realize that <coughs> you cannot identify any resistor which is what in series, okay, and then in parallel, okay, either in series or in parallel. So this is where we employ the words the delta and star arrangement, okay. So from here you could see that. We have a node over here, another node, okay, another node over here, another node over here, and another node over here, right? But we could notice that these are three resistors, and then we cannot um, know whether they are in what parallel or in what series because 
there are three resistors okay and then from our previous explanation from delta star you can notice that we have a similar arrangement like this in the circuit and then a similar arrangement like this format in the circuit okay so from here you could notice that we have a delta arrangement over here okay yes and then we have a star arrangement over here too okay so to make this example as easy as possible we, are, we will convert the two ohms two ohm two ohm resistors into what which are in star arrangement into what a delta arrangement which will make our life very very easy because from here you got to know that you can just multiply three by a star um resistor to convert that star resistor arrangement into what a delta arrangement so from this example you can notice that we have a star arrangement which has the same resistance okay so all you have to do is just multiply one of these resistors by three okay and then you you and then you'll be able to what convert the star arrangement into what delta arrangement so that's what i mean so so the delta okay the delta could be just represented as what three by what what three multiply by what, what two and this will give us what six ohms okay it means that every single delta resistor okay is what six ohms so let's represent that over here so we have what this over here right and then we have what oh sorry we have what this over here right and then we have what this over here okay yes so each of these resistance is what six ohm okay six ohm and then we have what six ohm right so from here you've been able to with just one simple approach you've been able to what convert this star arrangement into what this delta arrangement okay so note that anything within this circle okay or in, within this arrangement that the star arrangement doesn't exist anymore okay so all we have left we are left with is the what the delta arrangement okay so now let's see how we can further simplify this okay now you could notice that this this six ohm and this six ohm are in what parallel arrangements okay since from our previous lecture once you traverse across them okay once you traverse through them you won't come across any other what resistor okay so I want six ohm and then six ohm are in what parallel okay and then once you calculate this we have what six by six okay by the by six plus six and this will give us what this 36 on what 12 okay yes that's our what our answer okay and then we move on to what so from here you can notice that this is our what parallel arrangement and then we've simplified it further to what 36 on 12 okay 36 on 12 okay and then we know that per our further simplification 12 by 36 or 36 on 12 give us what 3 ohms okay now so from here we have what this to be what 3 ohms now we can further simplify this okay to this format okay so we have what let's say we have this okay so we have what 10 volts okay we have this okay we have that okay and then we have this okay 
right and then we have this right here so we have what another six ohm over here so we have what this to be what three this will be what six and then this to be what six and this to be what six now these are all ohms okay ohms ohms and then what ohms now we can further simplify this into what as a further simplified what circuit so we have what six ohms and six ohms in what we have those two resistors in what parallel okay so because once you traverse through them like this you could notice that we didn't come across any other elements so we have what six ohm okay by six ohm and this will give us what three ohm okay this will give us three ohm so what is six and six are in parallel so from this principle from here you will notice that this also was three ohm okay so now you can further simplify this as what 10 volts okay 10 volts okay as what this is three watts ohms okay and then what we have this right this is what three ohms and then we can just bring this six ohms over here okay this six ohm over here now so from here you could notice that this three ohm and then what this three ohm are in what series okay because the same current will pass through them okay the same current will pass through them so we have what three plus what three giving us what six ohms okay and then after that you could notice that this six ohms and then this six ohm will be in what parallel because it could be further simplified as what this format okay like this okay six ohm okay like this okay six ohm right so once we traverse through it okay you can notice that we didn't we won't or won't come across any other circuit or any other element sorry any other element okay so we have what six being parallel with what six and this will give us what three ohm okay yes i hope you are able to understand this concept okay so in the next video um we'll be solving laws and laws on delta and star arrangement okay so i will see you in the next video okay kindly subscribe hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any other uploaded video okay like share and comment your thoughts in the comment section below bye bye